The aero engine is considered as one of the key areas of India's aspiration of achieving self-reliance in defense sector. It is one of the most complex technologies to develop as it requires various metallurgical challenges that need expertise as well as experience. The extremely high rotation of turbine blades and extreme temperature of the core tests the reliability of alloys. The GTR Discovery Engine program was sanctioned way back in 1989 with the objective to power LCA Tejas fighter jet. The aim was to develop low bypass twin spool turbofan engine of 80 kN thrust class with afterburner. However, there were two challenges. Due to lack of experience in development of low bypass engine, Kaveri was not ready on time. Further, the power requirement of LCA was also increased due to its increased weight. GTRE Kaveri was officially delinked from this program in September 2008. The program was abandoned in 2014. Now, as per the CAG report of 2011, GTRE has been able to deliver an engine that could power LCA despite a cost overrun of 642% and a delay of about 13 years. Now, GTRE has defended the delays with non-availability of state-of-art wind tunnel in India and the US technology restrictions. While GTRE was not able to achieve the increased thrust requirement, there has been significant learning in the first attempt of development of low-bypass turbofan engine. Till now, nine full prototype of engines and four core engines have been built. Total 3,217 hours of engine testing has been conducted. So as we have stated earlier also, GTRE Kaveri has been able to achieve a weight thrust of nearly 70.4 kN and dry thrust of 46 kN against the desired weight thrust of 81 kN. The core of Kaveri engine without afterburner section has been quite stable and various past issues related to its core has been fixed. It has met its dry thrust requirement of 46 kN. However, it is yet to be certified. GTRE has planned the performance and operability of Kaveri engine across the flight envelope in high altitude test facility in 2022. The initial flight release, that is IFR certification of engine, is planned to be completed by 2024. Once the dry Kaveri engine is certified, GTRE may begin the work on upgraded jet engine with a new afterburner section. In October 2022, it was reported that dry Kaveri engine has been sent to Russia for high altitude flight trials. Once the high altitude trials are complete, it will be integrated with a flying test bed based on IL-76 platform. These two steps are extremely crucial for certification of dry Kaveri engine. Once the certification is done, it will be used to power the Ghatak UCAV. In February 2022, it was reported that dry Kaveri engine has successfully completed its high altitude trials at Russian facility where it was tested for various speed, thrust and pressure. The engine was simulated to achieve 46 kN of dry thrust and achieved the dry thrust of 48.5 kN. This was an important achievement in engine development program of dry Kaveri which is to be followed by structural tests and certification. In February 2023, it was also reported that Godrej and Boyce Manufacturing Co. Limited has won the contract from GTRE to manufacture all eight modules of six dry Kaveri engine. It will be the first private firm to produce jet engine modules for dry Kaveri of GTRE. The good news is that on 17th April 2023, the GTRE engine parts manufacturing at Godrej and Boyce has been inaugurated by Dr. T.C. Thomas, who is Director General of Aeronautical Systems at DRDO. The first engine will be delivered by late 2024. All six engines are slated to be delivered by August 2025. These engines will further used 
for certification to its flying worthiness. The GTRE has also started working on using LC Tejas as the flying test bed for dry Kaveri engine. In the year 2023, GTRE has issued a tender for the upgrade of a unit of LCA Tejas engine starter unit which can be used as the flying test bed. Again, in November 2023, GTRE issued another tender for modification of LCA specific aircraft mounted accessory gearbox to test Kaveri dry engine. Going via these developments, it seems GTRE has planned the testing of dry cover engine from LCA. Dr. S.K. Jha, CMD of Midhani, a PSU specialized in metals and metal alloys manufacturing facility in India, has told that all components of dry cover engine is using materials supplied by Midhani. This engine will be used for making certain number of strategic equipments. The one such equipment which we know is Ghata QCAF. He also said, that the Kaveri engine is programmed for further steps. India is going to develop a 110 kN domestic engine for AMCA and Midhani is also going to develop material for it. Coming back to the Kaveri engine with after bonus section development, GTRE has started the work. In January 2024, GTRE has commenced the working on the after bonus section of Kaveri engine which will be able to generate thrust of 80 kN. If we look at the existing GF404 engine which power LC Tejas, it generates dry thrust of 48.9 kN and 78.7 kN with afterburner. Therefore, the development of Kaveri engine with afterburner section can very well power the fleet of LC Mark 1 fighter jet and reduce the dependency on US as unlike GF414 engines, these engines are not made in India. So in order to commence the development of 80 kN class thrust engine, GTRE has released an expression of interest inviting the Indian private sector firms for ready to fit equi axed nickel alloy low pressure turbine rotor blades and vane LPT sub-assemblies. The delivery of these engine components will commence 24 months after the time of order. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.